Hello friends. Today we are going to create a software jar library using the Oracle JDK's jar utility. Jar is a new Jar is a special type of file which is used to package compile class files, images, audios, icons, etc. into an easy to handle single file format. These are mostly in the form of a zip file. So most jar files can be opened using standard programs like winzip or winrar. All these jar files will also contain a manifest file which describes the content and the entry point of the main function. In this example, we will be creating a software jar library, not an executable jar. That means that we will be compiling some of our source codes into class files and then we will package them into a jar file, which other programs can use it and then access the classes which are already which are compiled inside the jar file. So we have a companion website, uh, you can find that link in the description and you can now I'm going to talk about the three jar three Java files which we will be using. First one is called as the J main entry dot Java. It is the main function. What it it contains the main function right here. It creates two objects of the type serial and db access and then calls the methods present inside that classes ms.open and dot close methods and the same here the write method and the read method for the db access class now this is the serial class it's called serial.java and it contains a class called as public class serial and two methods one is open and the other one is close doesn't do anything it's just for representational purpose only it just send prints a line serial port opened serial port closed that's it it doesn't do anything same here with the dbx.java it has two methods one is the write and the other one is read make sure that all the methods are public otherwise the program will not be able to access it same here public public and the uh, two classes are actually organized under the package com dot my package this is important because when we are accessing the classes inside the jar file you have to use this format I mean the full path name com dot my package then the class name so we are going to compile these classes we don't need to compile j main entry dot java because we are not creating a executable jar file we are just creating a software jar file I mean software jar library so we can actually delete it you only need this to do this will be compiled into a class file and then distributed as a jar file so you can create a folder let's call it jar create and then put all the put the db access and serial.java inside that one and then delete the jmain.entry we don't need that so open the command prompt navigate to jar create now it contains these db access to java and serial.java compile them so that we require their java c hyphen d compile the class file into the same directory so dot d then you have to compare all the java files too now you can see that the class files are inside the com my package directory so the path is like this com my package dbaccess.class serial.class like that 
Now we are going to create the jar library. So we don't need the source code, so you can delete it. Now jar utility is present in Oracle's JDK as well as Graal VM's JDK. Here I'll be using the Oracle's JDK. The method will be similar for Graal VM also. So I have the jar in so I will use the command jar jar. Then I want to give the tell the jar utility to create a new jar file. So we'll use the C flag followed by V. V is for verbose. So it will output a lot of information to the command line. And then we will use the F flag, which state that the output should be in the to a file, not to the standard out. For that you have to give your jar file name. Let's call it my jar. Dot jar. Then we should be able to you should tell the jar utility that you should include everything that is inside this particular folder. So just put star, then press enter. You can see that information, the jar, jar utility has created the jar file. And since we have used the verbose V, it is displaying all the information. Now, since if you look inside the folder, you can see your jar file is created, myjar.jar, okay? Now to view the contents of the jar file, you can use the jar utility again. Here you will use jar t. T stand t is used to describe the contents of the jar file, and f f uh, to tell that the output is from my file. And then you have to give the my jar. So it has a default manifest file which is called manifest.mf and that describes the information about the things that are inside the jar file like which classes are there and which is the entry function. Here we don't have any entry function because we are creating a software jar library not an executable jar. One thing about the jar is actually packaged in the form of a zip file so you can use the programs like WinRAR or WinSAP, WinSIP to open that thing. And you can see the folder structure com my package and then all the classes. So in the next section uh, we will create a program that will use the classes which are inside the myjar.jar in the custom program. So for that We'll create a file called as mycustomcode.java. Now that now that we have successfully created a jar file, myjar.jar, which contain the serial and the db access dot classes, okay, which are now we are going to use the classes present inside that jar file. In a custom code that is a separate program. Now let's say we will call it my custom code.java. This is a separate program who want to access the classes which are present in the myjar.jar file. So like I said, I told you that previous previously the classes are actually inside the package com.mypackage.serial. Okay. So we have to import those classes. We have to give the full qual fully qualified name com.mypackage.serial. We want to use the methods if you want to use the serial class or the methods that are available with the serial class. Same here, import com.mypackage.dpaccess so that we can access the dbaccess class from inside the jar. Place the myjar.jar file and my custom code.java 
inside the directory jar hyphen test then you can compile the file using java c minus cp you are telling the class path variable where to find the jar file then you have to use dot semicolon the name of your jar file here that would be my jar dot jar so you have to give the and the name of the source code we have compiled the class file and created a class now you have to run this thing for that you will use java use the class path to tell where to find the jar file and then here you can see that we are just creating a serial class s and just calling the s dot open so when you run the program you will just print the message serial port opened that's it if you want you can use the other functions such as db access also just call the recommended required functions or methods so this is how you use a software library I mean software jar library in your custom code make sure to tell the class path variable where to find the myjar.jar file and use dot semicolon this is in the windows platform in linux it may be different okay thank you for listening and do like and subscribe please note that all the source codes are available on our website under the source code section and you can download it from here